Okay, now that we have seen how to copy our geometry on the screen, the next thing we need to look at is how to actually move the geometry this time around. So, in case you want to move your geometry, it's as easy as you do it in Procon Pads, as you do it in AutoCAD, I mean, and it's similar to how you use the copy command. So, to move your geometry, make sure everything is copied. So, in this first case, we're just going to be using the original geometry that we have on the bottom of the screen. So just BB, select everything. Let me just repeat that. BB, select everything. In this case, what you're going to do is go to block and go to where it says move. Then select the base point. And in this case, we're just going to move it there. And as you can see, we have moved our geometry. We're also going to BB again. And this time around, we're going to use a keyboard shortcut, which is B and then go to 4. In this case, move it to this point. Now remember, since we had auto mode, you could only move it at right angles. But in this case, we're just going to remove it. And again, we're just going to say BB, then B, 4, which is move. And in this case, remember, we can move it to anywhere we want. Let's move it to this point. Again, let's make a selection, BB, then sh keyboard shortcut, B4. Let's move it to this point. And again, let's just BB, then B, 4. Select the point you want to move it from or the base point. In this case, let me just select inside the box. Let's put it from that point and we're going to just move it to this point. So remember, making, um, so remember, moving your geometry in program path is easy as you do it in AutoCAD. All you need to do is make sure you select what you want to move and then you select the base point you want it to move it from and then select where you want the new base point to be located. So in this case, let me just select everything. BB and I'm going to choose uh, B4 remember keyboard shortcut then I'm just going to select this as the base point and I'm just going to move everything from there and just to copy so that we now use the two commands interchangeably just remember it's since everything is already selected B3 select the base point and in this case as you can see we have just copied our geometry to that point now as you can see making a selection Copying your geometry and moving your geometry in program pads is quite easy. All you have to do is play around with the block menu. So those are the two actions that I wanted to cover before we return to placing the other shape codes that we need to place such as 37, 38, etc, etc. So now that you know how to draw your geometry, make changes to it, dimension it, also make a selection and move and copy your geometry. I think we are getting ready to start detailing our slabs in full. So without wasting too much time, let's wrap the video right here and I'll see you in the next lesson.